This short video will show various techniques for converting images into AutoCAD entities using raster design, which is now included in Autodesk Suites. First, let's start a new drawing and change to the Raster Tools tab. To insert an image, click on the very left icon and from the Insert Image window that appears, navigate to and select the image file required. Note that options at the bottom of this form have the wizard turned on and zoom to image selected. Then click open. The wizard will prompt with a couple of forms providing correlation details and ways to change them as part of the import process. In this case I will click just next twice and then finish. AutoCAD then zooms to the image. When wanting to convert images to AutoCAD entities it is best to work with bitonal black and white images. In the edit panel, options are provided to process images from color to bitonal. Furthermore, it is best to work with a black background. So to convert this image, I will use the invert function located in the cleanup dropdown. So you can see objects being converted, I have changed to a different layer. The image can be converted into primitive objects like circles. Under primitive, select circle and click on one edge of the pipe. You should note that the cursor has changed to a raster snap selection similar to O snaps. Repeat the process for the other pipe edge. Other raster snaps can be turned on. Let's convert those pipe ends into arcs. Select arc under primitives, then pick each flat arc defining the pipe end. Another useful function is follower, where it will trace over the line work whilst the white pixels are continuous. In this case, I will use Polyline Follower. As you can see, it follows around the angled pipe, pipe end and connection arc. To convert the main pipe edge, the primitive line is used. Sometimes when using a scanned image, there are a lot of tiny dots. Raster Tool has a despeckle function. Run the command and select the image and then pick on speckle size that you want to remove. The image will be analysed and those matching the size will be highlighted in red and then deleted. The last thing to tidy up the image and save time is to convert the text. This is done using the OCR command. It is best to turn raster snap off whilst using this command. Let's convert the title using a rectangle. First point picked is the starting point. Second point defines the angle. Third point to define the rectangle. The area defined will be scanned and converted to the best alpha numeric character match. It even detects underlines as can be seen. The text identified can either be created as single or multi-line text. To convert the text to the left I will use a polygon which will enable me to zigzag around the leader line. Again, this is why raster snap is turned off. Any words unknown will be highlighted in green or yellow for your decision. That ends this quick session on vector and text recognition using AutoCAD raster design. Please check out other videos by Civil Survey Solutions.